Most metals expand when they are heated and they contract when they cool down. Here's an example of brass doing just that. You can get the brass to go in and out of the circle when it's cool, but once you heat it, it'll start to expand and then it'll no longer go through the hole. The metal will start to expand. Its diameter will get greater. So it hasn't quite expanded enough. This is what we refer to as thermal expansion. Platinum is one example of a metal which does expand when it gets too hot or contract when it gets too cold. That's why platinum is used as a standard for in France in a museum for measurement. They keep the perfect meter stick is made out of platinum. They keep it in France because it doesn't expand or contract. Again, this is an example of most metals. You can see it's starting to get larger. As you can see, it's almost to the point where it won't go through or pass through the hole. And some metals actually expand more than others. Each metal is assigned a coefficient value for its thermal expansion capability. Now you can see the metal has expanded to the point where it no longer passes through the hole. We're going to pat, put the metal into cold water and get it to contract. And you will actually hopefully be able to see some, maybe some of the convection currents passing through the water and once the water is uh, cooling the metal then the metal actually will pass back through the hole so it's in the point of contracting right now and it goes back through and that's called thermal expansion <laughs>